coach. Um, not an easy game um, to lose, especially when you look at the conditions of, of, of the pitch. Um, I, I, I will look back at today's results. Yeah, it's like I said to the players before the game, you know, today we had to adapt to the conditions and we didn't, you know, so it's literally adapt or die. And we didn't adapt, adapt to the conditions, yes. The pitch doesn't help the, the brand of football we try and play, but that doesn't mean we must stop trying to play the brand of football that we play. And, and we didn't do that in the first half, you know, and because of that reason, we ended up having to soak up a lot of pressure. We started playing the brand of football that they play and, and we're not good at that, you know, and uh, we had moments where we dealt with, with the long balls, we had moments where we didn't deal with it and then when we had the ball, we didn't really create anything and, and that wasn't good enough so we spoke about it at half time and I said, you know, we've got to get back to what we do well, you know, if you're a lion, you must remain a lion, don't now change your, your skin and become a leopard. You know, they, they hunt differently to a lion. We must keep hunting the way we hunt. So I explained that to the players at half time and we saw a slight improvement. But I just felt, you know, we weren't, we weren't simply good enough on the ball tonight. We didn't create enough situations to put them on the back foot. And, you know, then when you get the, you concede the goal, yeah, now you start looking to play more your brand of football. But my question is, why didn't you do that right from the beginning, you know? So that's, that's the frustration that I have and yeah, you have a chance to maybe get back in the game, but you don't and you end up on the losing end again against Supersport. You had some worries coach even after the MTN8 game. What are you finding is not clicking just as yet? Uh, no, I don't know where you're getting that from. Uh, this is two different games. The brand of football we played tonight is not the brand of football that we play. Uh, and as I said tonight, you played against a team that plays long ball, they play off second ball, they play off a free kick, there's, there's no style of play, there's no brand of football, it's just direct. And you've got to adapt to that game. You have to, as a player, you have to adapt, you can't use it as an excuse, oh but it's not the brand of football that I like. You've got to adapt and we didn't, simple as that. I listened to you even after you played the shoes, you were not happy with the players that you knew that the team that you were playing also play direct football that um, they couldn't mm. prepare themselves yeah. um, for those kind of goals that they would come mm. in that session. No, exactly, you know, which is what I explained. You know, you've got to adapt and we haven't. We struggle with that long ball, we struggle with the ball in behind, we struggle to win those second balls, you know. But do we have the ability to do it? Yes, we do. We have the ability, you know. But the players need to react a lot better than what they what they did and we showed it when we went one nil down. They were still playing the long ball. They were still doing exactly what they were doing and we dealt with it. And we created more chances. Now the question is why didn't you do that from the beginning? Coach, um, one of the silver linings, another impressive performance um, from Tahir. Um, I'm impressed that you've been with him since no, the start of the season. he was the only one tonight to be honest, him and Keanu. Mm. He was the only one who looked, showed a little bit of composure. You know, was willing to ask for the ball and receive the ball and turn and look to combine. He was the only one, you know, so very, very proud of him. And he also got 90 minutes in his legs, which is something he's never done before either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a good talent. Um, I'm looking at um, how he uses his body, um, his passing range as well. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a very creative player, you know. Sometimes he needs to play with a little bit more control. There were a couple of occasions tonight where he forces it a little bit and gives it away unnecessarily, you know. But, but the majority, he's, he's extremely confident on the ball. Uh, he looks to combine very well. He's got good awareness of what's happening around him. And he sees things quicker than others, you know. So those are the positives and he just needs to work on them. From the opening games, do you think that you may need maybe one or two extra no, players? No, we, we're happy with what we have. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.